just want to show you something else. It's ringing the half hour, and this is ringing the hour. Now, what you could do to resolve this is this. I, I messed up. Remember I said that you shouldn't um, when you, uh, turn your hands backwards or certain time frames when you can't turn your hands backwards. That's a half hour. I turn the hand backwards to about the 9 o'clock position and bring it back up to the 12 o'clock position. It's going to ring the hour. And it doesn't do that on all clocks. It has to be uh, a certain type of clock that you could do that on. You can't do that on cuckoo clocks. You can't do that on a lot of clocks but on some clocks you can you can also do it just ring the half hour position now I'm gonna turn the hands really fast to get up to the hour position Okay, there's a half hour, there's the hour. I'm going to show you that one more time. It just got through striking the hour, okay? So I'm going to make it so it strikes the half hour. And because... The minute hand is on the hour, and it just got through striking the half hour. I could either bring the minute hand down to the nine, and then bring it back up to the twelve, and I'll strike the hour. Or I can rotate the minute hand really fast through the half hour and bring it back up to the hour. Again, I could do it this way. And if you're trying to set your clocks and you don't feel like rotating them around, you can do it this way. Just got through striking the half hour. So I'm going to rotate the minute hand really fast through the half hour. And you're going to hear a click about right up here. And that's when the clock is going to go into warning. And it's going to uh, hit the, the hour strike. And again, you can't do this to all clocks, so it's best to do it this way. Wait for it to strike. It's one o'clock. And if your hands are off, the strike, you can easily see whether you can turn the hands backwards or not to get it back into sync 
you hear that click? I can't go any further. I'm going to do that again. Listen for the click. There's a click. You're going to hear actually two clicks. You're going to hear a click here at the 9. And then you're going to hear a click about 11. And that's when the clock goes into warning. I'm going to do that again. Because I was talking. You're going to hear a click at the 9. Then you're going to hear another click. And that's when the clock is now in warning. When the clock goes into warning, you don't want to turn your hands backwards. If you do, you're going to mess something up. Especially on a cuckoo clock. If I was to turn a hand backwards now, I'm going to mess something up. So I don't want to because the clock is in warning. So, um... In a case like this, it's in warning. I want to allow it to finish the strike. And then if it was out of sync, that's when I could turn the hands backwards. But it, once it goes into warning, you have to allow it to finish the strike. I hope I'm not confusing people. I hope you're enjoying this video. Give me a thumbs up and may God bless.